Welcome to the Creative Hudson. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to face swap in Affinity Photo. Before we begin, here are a few tips for choosing images to use for face swapping. One, make sure that the angle of the heads in your photos match. For example, if one of the heads in the images is front facing, then you want to make sure that the image you're swapping it with also has the head facing the same way. If the head is tilted to the left or the right, then make sure the head of the face you want to swap also has the head tilted to the left or the right. Also, if it's for a photo of yourself and you want to swap your face for a face you found online, then make sure when you take your picture you have your head angled the way your desired model is angled in the image. 2. Make sure the lighting in both images match. If the direction of the light in one image is coming from the left, then make sure the other image has its light coming from the same direction. Specifically, when it comes to the direction of the lighting hitting the face. For instance, if one image has the head turned to the right and the light source is coming from the right, then make sure that the other image also has the head turned to the right and that the light source is on the right. 3. The hardness or softness of light in the images need to match. Hard light is when there is a very sharp transition from light to shadows. Case in point, in this picture, you can see the woman's shadow is precise and defined. Plus, you can see how there is a large difference between the darkest areas and the lightest areas in this picture. Soft light images have gradual transitions between light and shadows, which means that you won't have to worry about the image having areas that are too bright or areas that are too dark. You can see soft light in nature during sunset as in this picture. The sun sets in the sky in the background and is creating an overall soft light on the butterfly and the planets on. 4. If you're face swapping a face that has facial hair, i.e. a beard, then go online and find some hair brushes that you can use with Affinity Photo. Now, let's begin the tutorial. First, go to File Open. Select the image of the man standing in front of the temple and click Open. Then, go to File Open again. This time, select the other image you downloaded and click Open. You should have two tabs open in Affinity. Next, go to the Tools panel and select the Freehand Selection tool. In the Context toolbar, make sure the feather is zero. Set the type to Polygonal. Make sure you're on the second pick. To zoom in, press Ctrl and roll the mouse wheel forward. Or, go to the Tools panel and click the Zoom tool. Take the Freehand Selection tool and make a selection of the man's face, the man in the front. Left click and drag the cursor around the area of the face you want to use to trace the face for the selection. Alternatively, you can also click and add points around the face to make the selection. Once you've made the selection, press Ctrl and C to copy the selection. Then, go to the first image we open. Press Ctrl and V to paste the selection of the face onto the image. You can close the other tab. Grab the Move tool from the Tools panel. Then, go to the Transform panel and turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio. With the face layer selected, press 5 to set the opacity of the face layer to 50%. Or, go to the Layers panel and set the opacity to 50% from there. Zoom in on the main image. Now, take the Move tool and resize the face, making it smaller, and place it over the man's face. Line up the eyes of the face to the eyes of the man. If you have snapping on, you might want to turn it off. After that, make sure the face layer is selected. Press 0 on the keyboard to set the opacity of the face layer back to 100%. Or go to the Layers panel and set the opacity to 100% from there. With the face layer still selected, go to the Layers panel and click the Mask Layer icon to add a mask to the face. Once you've done that, grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. In the color panel, make sure the black color is selected. If not, press Shift and X to switch between the white and black color, or set the color to black. Next, go to the brushes panel. Select the basic brushes and choose a round soft brush. In the context toolbar, set the width to 75 pixels. Set the hardness to 0%, opacity to 30%, and lower the flow to about 80%. In the Layers panel, make sure the Mask layer is selected. Next, take the brush and start masking away the face around the edges. You want to make sure that the face you put on top fits within the underlying face. That's why we're masking around the edges, which will make parts of the underlying face show through.
When you finish masking enough of the face, the mask layer and the layers panel will have a black circle around it. After that, right click on the face layer and select rasterize to combine the face layer and its mask together. Next, select the original picture. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the image. With the duplicated image selected, press Ctrl and click the thumbnail of the face layer. This will reactivate the selection of the face we created. Now, turn off the visibility of the face layer and the original image. With the duplicated layer selected, hit the backspace key on the keyboard. This will remove part of the man's face from the other picture. Once you've done that, turn the visibility of the face layer back on along with the other image. Press Ctrl and D to deselect the face. Next, we'll work on the lighting and the coloring of the face so that the face can look more natural and blend in with the image. Select the face layer. Now, click the adjustments icon and select the curves adjustment. Make sure this layer is inside of the face layer. Go to the master channel. Then, click and add a point in the middle and drag it up some. After that, go to the red channel. Click and add a point in the middle and drag it up some. In the layers panel, click the adjustments icon again. This time, select the shadows highlight adjustment. Place this adjustment inside of the face layer. Set the shadows to 37% and the highlights to negative 15%. Go to the Layers panel and click the Adjustments icon. Select the HSL adjustment. Set the Saturation shift to negative 9% and the Luminosity shift to negative 4%. Make sure this layer is inside the face layer too. Go to the Layers panel and click Add Pixel Layer to add a new pixel layer. Make sure this layer is on top of everything. In the Tools panel, grab the Clone Burst tool. We're going to use this brush to blend in the transition of one face into the other to make the skin more natural looking. Go to the context toolbar and set the source to current layer and below. Also, set the hardness to 0%, blow to about 50 to 60%, and the opacity to 75%. Then make the brush size smaller too. You can press the left bracket key to do that. Press the Alt key, then click and drag on the face near the cheek area over here. After that, take the brush and paint in some of this onto the area beside the cheek to blend it in. Follow these steps to blend in the other side of the cheek area and the area on the upper right temple of the face. Remember, in order to select another area to clone, you have to press the Alt key and click and drag on the area to select another source. If you paint outside the area, grab the Erase Brush tool from the Tools panel and go over the area to erase it. Also, clone some of the forehead too. I'm going to speed this part up here. Now let's work on the light source of the image. Since more of the light source is coming from the left side of the face, we need to add a little bit of shadow to the right side of the face. In the layers panel, click the adjustments icon and click the curves adjustment. Click and add a point in the middle and drag it down to where you see it on the screen. Make sure this layer is on top of everything. With the layer selected, press Ctrl and I to invert this layer. Now, grab the paintbrush tool from the tools panel. In the color panel, make sure the white color is selected. Go to the context toolbar and decrease the opacity and flow some. Take the brush and paint along the right side of the face on the forehead and cheek area. Once you've done that, click the adjustments icon again in the layers panel. Select the Shadows Highlights Adjustment. Set the shadows to negative 15% and the highlight to 23%. Place the layer at the top to add shadows and highlights to the whole image. And this is how to face swap in Affinity Photo. 
Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the bell icon to be notified on new videos and tutorials once they're posted. Thank you.